Long time ago, a fox named Gretel lived in a forest. She was known to be a trickster. Gretel used to befriend other animals in order to bluff them and make them her prey. One day, Gretel was very upset as she had been starving from days and didn't get anything to eat or drink. And because she was not trustworthy, she had no friends. Gretel continued roaming in the jungle for hours. Then she saw a rooster sitting up high on the branch of a tree. Gretel was delighted to see the rooster. Gretel thought to herself, "Wow, a rooster? What a perfect meal for me. I haven't eaten anything for days. I'm starving." Gretel was overjoyed, but looking at the height of the tree, she was a bit bothered. This tree is giant. How do I even reach up there? It was an unusual task for Gretel to climb up the tree. She again thought to herself, "I can't climb up the tree, but I can surely persuade the rooster to come down." With this thought, Gretel proceeded towards the tree. Then she looked at the rooster and said, "Hello, Mr. Rooster. I have a good news for you." The rooster looked down at Gretel and replied, "Good news? What good news?" Gretel responded, "An order from the heavens just came in that said all the animals will live with each other in peace and harmony and they won't kill each other anymore." The rooster got suspicious of Gretel's intentions. The rooster replied very plainly saying, "Oh, okay. That's good." Hearing rooster's plain and close-ended reply, Gretel was left puzzled. This rooster just ended the interaction with an okay. How do I compel him to come down? Gretel again tried to talk the rooster. Mr. Rooster, now even a legit order is out for us all to stay together. Why are you still sitting up there on the tree? From now on, even the foxes will not prey on roosters or hens. So there's absolutely nothing to fear. You can come down. After hearing all this flattery, the rooster was convinced of his suspicion that Gretel had some completely different motives. The rooster immediately thought of trick to get rid of Gretel and shoo her away. Thank goodness. This is such a wonderful news. Oh, look there. Your friends are coming to see you. Upon hearing the rooster's statement, Gretel started wondering, "My friends? I don't have any friends. Who is this rooster talking about?" Gretel asked the rooster, "Mr. Rooster, which friends are you talking about?" The rooster sarcastically replied, "Those wild dogs that are now your friends and are going to live with you in peace and harmony." Hearing about the wild dogs, Gretel got terrified. Seeing Gretel terrified, The rooster said, "What happened, my dear friend? Why do you look so flustered? We are friends now, right?" "Hmm, yes, yes, but probably those wild dogs don't know it yet." And then Gretel flew away from the scene, fearing for her life. And the rooster saved himself from the fox using his resourcefulness.